again and I'm going to continue the Java project configuration series till now we configure the database and configure the JDK configure the ID and import it the project so that it is the last video of the series so this will be just dedicated to server configuration so how can we configure the server as we are using in our project Tomcat MySQL Tomcat 8.0 so how to configure the Tomcat so just come here I will provide the link in the description box you can click on the link and you can navigate here you will be navigate here just look for the server configuration and inside this download Tomcat 8.0 so here is the link so you can click on the link when you click on the link you will get this page and here you need to click on the tab, this download button once you click on the download button you will easily you can easily download the fuller file so i have already downloaded this file so you can see i have this tomcat 8.5 so it's going to download so i'm going to cancel this and you can see i have this already so just keep this at a particular location so i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to copy this in my c drive outside of the folders so you can see it's here now extract the tomcat server files just extract it and you can see your server is here make sure you are using the server more than 8.5 uh, more than 8.0 so tomcat server is fine there now just switch into your project and in the project you need to go on your window and there is a lots of way to find the server window so this is the best time i'm going to show you just go on the window and click on the show view and search here for the server if you don't get in the list just go click on the other and search here for the server once you will click here for the server it will search the server for you you can see the folder here and click on the server so the window is open here right now it is just showing the default server but it's not there so how can you add a server so just in your case it will show only this one folder then this this one server just right click on the white click on this white space and click on the add new server and now as we are using import we are going to import the tomcat so tomcat is will come inside this apache so just click on the apache and select the version from here so we are using the version 8.5 server select this click on next and you can see it will ask for the location of your directory so as we best to be copied this server inside my c drive so you can you can you need to browse the c drive and the location click on ok click next and finish Once you will finish the server import and uh, it will take some time you can see it's check the process it's going on so I think it's 48 percent right now let's so done. now just right click on the server and click on the start so you can see the server is going to start and in case it's showing the error like this port number 8080 is already used so you can use the port number also so in my case it's showing some other error this is so I need to delete it again so I'm gonna add this again there was some error so I'm gonna remove this just right click on this click on the server again select server 8.5 click on the next this time it will take automatically from there now run it again so how can you change the server port so just right click on this server and you can see here the port number is configured there so you can check change the admin port also you can change the HTTP port also number and just change the number and click on the save icon. You can see the server is starting now and server is start up in this second and server is running. 
so how can you run the project so just right click on the project and before run the project just select the window browser so just go on the window web browser and select the browser here as a chrome or any browser from on which you want to run so i want to run my project on chrome so i selected that chrome browser and now right click on the project and go on a run is and click on the running server so it will ask you to select a server so we have two servers that's why it's asking so we are going to run this project in my server tomcat 85 so for the next time if you don't want to select this you can check out click on the, this checkbox always use this server when running this project so next time by default it will take this server now click on the finish it will ask to restart the server because the server is already in running condition so if you want to restart server you should we click on the check the restart server because it will be good to reconfigure the project or rebuild the project inside the conference the server so now you can see it's going to be in process and server is going to restart you can see the process here Doing this now the project is going to be done the database was already called configured in the previous videos so let's see how it looks startup is done now you can see the local host 8080 the job portal is done so how to check the database connectivity is done or not so just hit on the login button and go on your database and check the table here is the username and the password always the gmail id will be the username and you can see the table according to your uh, project so login in this according to this project in my case that this will be my username so i'm going to enter this and the password is one two three so enter this password i can sign up so the data is showing me the database it means the database connectivity is done now i'm going to execute the project so this is the complete execution of the project in case if you find any kind of error please just go in the description box and check the link in this link uh, you need to add the error with the screenshot here and i will find the best solution i will record the video according to the solving the error and i will uh, cover that error in the steps also here so it will which will be helpful to others who is going to be configured the project thank you